Okay, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this R Studio tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run independent sample t test. Okay, so first of all, this is how R Studio layout will look like. Okay, so you have like three different windows. So what will be the first step? Always the first step is to set your working directory. You need to select the folder that you have your data and where do you want to keep your script. Okay, where do you want to save all the output? So for the fir first step is always find the folder and set it as your working directory. So for that, you need to go to this three dotted um, option, click on them and then um, select your folder. So in this case, I have my folder in my pen drive. So I'm going to select my pen drive. It's named as demo. Okay, and I'm going to um, under demo, I have my t-test folder so I click open it so once I click open it all the data all these uh, files that I want to use or relevant to this demonstration are being stored here so once I have this folder what I need to do next is set it as a my working directory okay before that uh, these the the one the files with a dot CSV or dot excel are my data files if you notice clearly uh, if you notice there is like a um, a page a paper with uh, with cells in it okay and the one that with uh, white sheets with an r on it is actually the script file so whatever that ends with dot r extension are uh, files of script the the script that you write that uh, can be understood by the r studio okay so for in this case, I have already pre prepared a, a script to run the independent t-test. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on it. So once it click on it, if you notice it automatically appears on my source window. So there is another window that appears. So if you notice, this is my script, independent t-test.r script. So I already have my commands or function or list of actions that the R Studio need to run. Okay, as I said, once you have already selected your folder, you understand what is your uh, content of the folder. Now I need to set this folder as my working directory, meaning working path. So whatever that I do, changes, savings, anything will go directly to this particular folder. So how do I do that? Okay, this is my first command saying that please set the working directory. Okay, in this case, every time that you change it, whenever I share the uh, script with you, you need to make changes to this working directory because your working directory, your path is different than mine. I'm saving it under, uh, even for this example, I'm, I have saved, I worked on my laptop, so I saved it under my documents. Okay, if you notice 2020 R Studio, but in, in my, in this demonstration, I'm using the desktop at my office so when i'm using my desktop at office i've actually transferred my folders into my pen drive so i need to specify the location of the folder okay so for that i need to delete this this um, command or this function so i need to set my working directory now so do i need to type it no what i need to do is go to more click on set working directory Okay, so if you notice, uh, set working directory, my G drive demo t test. So this will be my working directory. So how do I get this up here? Okay, you don't have to copy paste here. If you go to history, okay, history, the last line that you have done. Because history keeps record of your activities. So this is my last line of activity. And it, it, it says that set working directory, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I want to move this one into my line 2. So how do I do that? Once you highlight it, you, uh, if you notice that is to source button. Okay, so just click on source. It will automatically moves here. Okay, so automatically it sets the working directory. Now, once you have set the working directory, next is you need to load the library. Okay, library meaning that you are calling the packages that you want to use. You are pretty much like activating the package that you need to use. Okay, so library stats package is for variance and t-test and psych is to run descriptive analysis. Okay, 
some of you might not have the site package so what do you need to do you have to install it how do you install it go to package install and then you can write your name of the package that you need to install okay and then you click on install uh, install option since i already have it so i will not i don't have to reinstall it so you have to install only once okay now once i have both of this uh, library the package that i need to run my analysis the third one is i can start uh, importing my data into R Studio because uh, the data is in the Excel or the CSV file. So I need to bring it to into R platform. So for that, I'm importing data file into R Studio. So this is my command. Okay, what does this command tells us? Read CSV file called data for independent t-test underscore demo dot CSV. So if you go to file, okay, and you can actually see the name of the uh, data. Data for dot um, for uh, it and uh, t-test underscore demo dot csv. Okay, so this is the folder that consists of my data. And this is, I'm going to ask it to call in. Okay, so once you call in, I don't want it to be called as a data with long blah, 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 long name. So I'm going to rename it as data. So once you call this in, and this will be known as data in my uh, R Studio. Okay, so put your cursor here and or before that, you can uh, highlight all until here and then click run. So what happens here? So all these blue, op uh, blue text meaning that it has run all successfully. And if you look at environment, okay, the later, the last line of your action will appear here. So when you go to environment, you can see your data has been imported. Okay, so when you click on it, there is your data. You have the gender variable and stat score variable. There are two variables and 724 observation. So when you scroll down, the total number of observation you have 724. Okay, so in environment, you can look at your data. So, okay, so when you, uh, when you click on data, it will appear on your console. Okay, sorry, on your source. So when you uh, can close this and go back to your script file, okay. So next is once you have your data, I'm going to test assumptions. Okay, when you are running um, t-test or any statistical analysis using software, we have to check whether our data is appropriate for the analysis or not. So one of the uh, there are three important assumptions that you need to check for independent t-test. Firstly, is normality. Because we are using the T distribution, T distribution is, uh, is normally distributed. So when you're using a distribution, uh, our data to make comparisons uh, with or using the T distribution, we have to make sure that our distribution is also normally distributed. So we have to test for normality. So how do I test it? Describe by data score, um, uh, data uh, stat score by gender. So what I'm trying to do is please describe my stat, uh, stat score by different gender groups. Okay, describe by is an option that or the function that I get from the site package because I want to run descriptive analysis. So once I, so I click on um, describe by. So if you notice under my console, I actually get two sets of values. One is for the female, one is for the male. I have the means, um, the uh, minimum maximum all this information okay what i need to look at is the skewness so the skewness for um, the stat score variable for female and also male both of them are within plus minus one range range of one so i assume that they are normally distributed okay the next one is test for equality of variance so equality of variance again we are going to test whether the two variant, uh, the two groups has the same variance for stat score variable. Okay, so variance test, um, stat score by gender. Okay, so the data, uh, data's dollar sign meaning we are taking the stat score from the data folder, data file. Okay, so once you click on this, you will get an F test compared to variances. 
So what you need to do is you have to check the p value. This p value if it is greater than 0 0.05 then these two variances are equivalent. If this p value is less than 0 0.05 then the two variances are different. Okay, so in this case they are the they are the same because the p-value is greater than the cutoff value of 0 0.05. Okay, now the third one is test for independence. So here we would like to see the observation that we get are independent of each other. It is not being influenced by one another. It is important because um, they are coming from two different groups. So one's response should not influence another person's response. This one, we do not have any statistical test to test it out. But we can um, look back at the way that we collected our responses. And these uh, assumptions are always said as be met. Okay. And finally, once you have uh, tested all the assumptions, you can start running your t-test, independent sample t-test. So what we are running here is, okay, data, stat score, run it, okay, the till by gender. And we said that variance equal, variant equal equals to true, meaning that is equal variance assumed because initially when we tested that is equal variance. So I'm using variance equal, variance are equivalent. So please run the t-test, okay, stat score is my dependent variable by gender. Okay, so once I click on it, I'll get two sample t-test results. Okay, so again, I will check here at the p value. So if my p value here is less than 0 .0, 0 0.05. Okay, so how what is this p uh, 2.23 minus 16? Meaning there is 15 uh, zeros before 2.2. Okay, so that's why it is like it's being put it, you cannot write like 0 0.0000015 zeros, right? So this is a way of reporting it. Okay, so but when you are reporting it, just say that P is less than 0 0.001. Okay, so since it is less than, it has, uh, we can say there is a difference between the gender on the stat score. Okay, so and then it is it also give us the mean values for both the groups for the female and also for the male. Okay, that is when you have variance equal, e uh, variances equivalent for both the groups. But what happens if you have variance that is not equivalent? Okay, so you just have to it's using the same um, same command or same uh, instructions just on the last line rather than variance equal. Variance dot equal equals to true here you put it as false. So once you put it, you will get another set of um, degrees of freedom. Okay, slightly different t scores, but it will still have like similar p values. Okay, the mean will always be the same. Okay, it's just that when you have uh, equal and unequal variances, it's just the way that you calculate your standard error will be different. Okay, so how do you decide between these two, whether you are using equal or unequal based on the test for equality of variance. Based on these results, based on that assumption, you will decide whether to run equal or unequal. Okay, so just select one. You don't have to run both of them. Okay, so once you have finished um, running it, all you can do is just, just copy. Okay, you can just copy it and then paste it on a Word document. Okay, if you notice this independent t-test, it's already, it's in a red text because you have made changes to the uh, script. So once you have made changes, just um, select, save the current document. So if you just select on it, it will appear blue, uh, black again. Okay, so I hope that it was clear and uh, I'll see you on the next RStudio tutorial. Thank you.